Hey everybody, it's Brittany Saturn. And I'm Brian Belcher. And, and welcome, welcome to Forest, Forest Life. Life. Well, it's another day here in Mosswood. Another day in paradise. There we go. Oh man, those cherry blossoms are still going. It's real pretty. So we're exhausted. Uh-huh. <laughs> well, we stayed up all night last night. 4.14? Oh, speak... Uh, so we got Rocket's birthday coming up on 4-14. Yeah. And today's Mail's birthday. Have you noticed how blue the sky is on a clear day? I stared at it, I stared at it the other day after running 14 miles. I'm glad it was blue because I couldn't move for hours. <laughs> <What>? <laughs> That's a lot of miles, Scoot. From Briga. I bought some adorable new stationery, so I thought I'd write you a letter to try it out. What do you think? My impeccable taste led me straight to you, your pen pal, Friga. So this is what happens when you write letters. Everyone's they keep letters. writing more letters. Stop sending us letters. What do you think we wanted? Although, although knowing Rocket's birthday is good. I don't do really you... care about Maylee's birthday. All right. Well, if you I'm don't want, I'm probably not even gonna go to her birthday. Let's not go then. It's today. It is. <gasps> Getting into birthdays early, are we? Well, sure. You never told me that it was her birthday beforehand, did you? No, I didn't think you cared. I don't. All right, I didn't know until today, anyways. Oh man, look at that fucking cover. It's nice. That it's is Fuchsia perfect. Too. Yeah, look at that. Fuchsia's on the cover. Of course she is. Didn't know that you knew KK Fuchsia. Jeez, what? Jeez. A, her bitch never introduced didn't us. Didn't introduce us. See how it is. Mm -hmm. Um. So, like Brittany said, we are exhausted. We've been up all night, and I mean <laughs> all night. We went to uh, we went out to dinner first. Yeah. And uh, that wow, well, that wound up being a little bit longer than we wanted, so we left. We actually got to the place at nine instead of eight thirty. I mean, instead so of so we 8. should probably explain what we went to. Okay, yeah, go ahead. <laughs> so our local art museum here in North Carolina, they did this thing called You Are Here is the name of the exhibit. We sure were. And it's basically just like a celebration of lights, colors, and sounds. It's just like a little cool exhibit. But the opening night of it, um, they did this thing called the All Nighter, mm -hmm. where they have different events happening every, in two hour blocks every two hours. And it lasts, we got like the tickets for the opening party. So it lasted for us from like 8 p.m. And we could have stayed until 10 a.m. the next day. Yep. Like, we just stay the whole night in the museum. Um, you don't sleep or anything. You just stay up and party the whole time. For 12, yeah, like 12 or 14 hours. hours. <laughs> uh, we got there a little bit later than it started. We got there around, like, 9 o'clock, I, I think. Which I think was a good idea. Yeah, I think so. Because it, it seemed like the party didn't even really get started until, like, 10. So we were yeah. probably there for about an hour before, like, stuff started really happening. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Um, I mean, I don't know. Maybe some stuff happened that we just didn't know about. Didn't when we seem weren't like there. It. Yeah, probably not though. But um it was really cool. So like the first uh the first block was the silent rave. Yeah. Uh which is really cool. It's basically what it sounds like. Everyone puts on headphones. The and one you listen to music and you party. So the one cool thing about this silent rave then that was different than any other silent rave I've ever been to was that there's three stations. Um and everybody's you could like tell what everyone's on the headphones. Yeah. Uh, you could listen to different radio stations on the headphones, and you could tell which station was who because of the uh, color on the side of their earphones. So it was there was a red, green, or blue radio station, and each one was being done by a different DJ that was there live at the place. Yeah. And uh, <clears throat> you could tell who, uh, which station everyone was listening to. Yeah. Generally, and, everybody was listening to something different. Yeah, most of the most of the time, it, it was just it was well Whoa, mixed. We have purple roses. Nice. I don't even know where these came from. I don't know. Oh, that's not a watering can. Uh, but so we're, we're we're dancing, we're having a good time, and I think for the most part, we were on station red for oh. most of the night. Never mind, I have purple over here. Mostly because <laughs> um, it was like nostalgia. Uh huh. It was, it was the like nostalgia a bunch of channel. 90s dance music. It was really yeah. awesome. Yeah. Uh, the blue channel was focused mostly on rap and hip hop, and the green channel was mostly like electronic music. Yeah. 
Um, but it changed because, I mean, there's live DJs there playing. Music. Yeah, yeah, yeah. It would change uh, up. It was that really was just cool. generally what it was. Yeah, yeah. It was really cool, though. It was really interesting. I've never been to a silent rave before, but you, like, take off your headphones, and it's like, I mean, people are still talking, but it was pretty quiet, you know, except for at the end of the night when everyone was singing Killing so, Me Softly. <laughs> oh, okay. So, um, I'll actually put this video in here because it's pretty terrible. Oh, boy. <laughs> uh, but uh, so we took video of the end of the song. I'm killing me softly. The thing is, is you you're not going to be able to hear any of the music. It's a silent rave. Yeah, it's just everyone because singing. Because everyone has headphones on. You'll hear my terrible singing and about uh, 40 other people singing along. This is one of the few times that everyone switched to the same station. Yeah, yeah. So that was really cool. Um, because so the beginning of the dance, everyone was playing all the the great tracks all at the same fucking time mm -hmm. and it was hard really to pick, annoying like which one you wanted to listen to because it was like a ton of great music at once and then at the end of the night no one was playing any good tracks hey frank come here <laughs> frank is this, cat of course cat beans is in here chilling out frank's like <laughs> no he's in an extremely playful mood today probably because he's been sleeping all day with us yeah yeah we slept all day yeah i'm still tired though um i still want to go right back to bed so we're, we're probably like after this recording going to go to sleep yeah i'm gonna go right back to bed we basically got up ate some food and we're like all right let's record <laughs> yeah and now we're done with the day so the second block was really cool it was called the joker and we just watched stand-up comedians for like an hour and a half we and watched they were all pretty good we watched stand-up comedians but right before that they had a nice little break where they had an open fry bar yeah and that means that there's a oh nice it's been a few days since bamboozling yeah, I'm, 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 i have i've lost track I number keep, kept up with it <laughs> um but there was a bunch of french fries for everyone to have for free yeah and uh you know ketchup and uh, a wasabi uh dipping sauce as well yeah. Anyways, um, we did that. So yeah, we saw some standard comedians, and then the next block was called The Gamer, and it was basically video games and board games. Oh, boy. Which we assumed was going to be kind of meh, because we have a lot of board games and video games. So yeah. We weren't expecting a whole lot out of that. Like, I had, I had more stuff in my house than this museum had for everyone to play. Yeah. And I was just like, okay. That's fine. Yeah, I think like the big draw there was probably like VR. Uh -huh. but we have VR, so we were like, man, I'm not waiting in line for that. Yeah, there's a bunch of people playing the HTC Vive. They're playing Space Pirate Trainer, and I was like, well, I've gotten plenty of time in Space Pirate Trainer. <laughs> and every section has like a hands-on like art. Like you can go and make art, uh -huh. uh, but the art for that section was parlor beads, <laughs> and that's what I do as like my little side job on Etsy. Yeah. So I was like, uh, oh, yeah. I. I'm going to, like, not participate in this because while I think parlor beads are a lot of fun, I was taking the night off. Oh, shit. What the fuck? I was taking the night off from that, so. <laughs> yeah, I'm gonna I... going to ignore you. I don't even care that you berated me about the brain, Mandis. Who cares? I will be another, Brian. I also did not do that. The one thing I did do, uh, not begrudgingly, but more just because I just didn't have anything else I really wanted to do. Mm -hmm. So they had a rock band set up. And the rock band set up was an Xbox 360 with two old Guitar Hero controllers on it. <laughs> and uh, they were... Um, it was the original rock band from 2008. That's how old the game yeah. was. And I was fine with that. I was like, yeah, sure. It's still rock band, though. Yeah. Some great tracks. Well, this night was... This section was definitely for people who probably aren't big gamers. Yeah. Uh, and are just like, hey, check out all these cool games that are just set up. That's kind of like nostalgia with my friends is my, what it felt like. The, the, Which is pretty cool if that's like... Yeah. You know, if that's like how it is but for us who are big gamers and we go to a lot of gaming events uh -huh. and we just have a lot of gaming stuff it didn't wow us but we didn't think it would we we knew like, we, were, we, saw, we, we were, were like, anticipating oh, that's, that that's probably gonna be like how it is so, so the thing that was really weird though is like i could t uh i think that you you're right with that's what the um the museum was trying to do the problem was is that the most well i don't know if that's what they were trying to do i'm just saying that's what happened yeah yeah but i think that's also what their attempt was and yeah, when it's supposed to be real casual. Yeah. Um, when we were there, 
uh, most of the people that were still there at this point of night were very young. Mm -hmm. Like, we were probably a couple of the oldest people there. Yeah, because the, the, the gamer night was from, what, two to four? Yeah, yeah, yeah. Two to four. And most people were done at that point. Yeah. Um, and they uh, a lot of people left. But everyone who was still there was either in, in college or younger. <laughs> and uh, we were just like, okay. That's fine, um, but mo uh, I, when I was by the Super Smash Brothers area, I could, I could see nice. Cause like rocket it. zoom. I like it. Actually, uh, I'm gonna, I'm gonna say zoom zoom. All right, I like it. Um, there was a, I, I, when I was by the Smash Brothers part, I was like, everyone was complaining because there was no GameCube controllers and a bunch of other stuff, and I was just giggling because I was like, oh man, all these things that. I would have been prepared for, but uh, <laughs> yeah. Well, it was obviously somebody just wanted to like throw in that idea. Yeah, and yeah. They were just like, who can we get? I mean, they had people there helping them, but mm -hmm. you know. That being it said, is what it is. the next session was, cool, was the one that me and you were really looking forward yeah, to. The next session was called the Dreamer, and it was probably the one I was looking forward to the most, and also the most disappointing. Yeah. So this one was supposed to be uh, tarot card readings and aura readings, mm -hmm. um, which I think is really fun. Um, don't necessarily believe in those things, but I thought it'd be like a fun little thing to do. We thought it'd be like an ASMR session, but yeah. in real life. Yeah. Basically. So uh, we realized that you had to sign up for the tarot card read. It, like the way the paper uh, stated, it looked like you signed up for it at four, like when it started. But it turns out you actually sign up for it when you get there at midnight or whatever. Uh, which is really weird because um, the way they sold the tickets, they sold them in like time slots. Mm -hmm. So if you bought your ticket at the very beginning of the night, um, the people who came in at four to do this particular thing was not even going to get a chance to uh, do the thing that they bought tickets for. Yep. Uh, so that filled up super fast, and the museum people I talked to were really surprised. They were like, wow, I didn't realize so many people were uh, interested in the tarot cards. I'm like, of course. <laughs> like, this is the only thing they do for those two hours. the coolest <laughs> thing ever. And then they told us that the aura readings weren't even a thing. And they were like, why is everyone asking about that? It's like you and I was like, because it. you put it on your website and in the video. <laughs> <laughs> so that was a pretty big disappointment for me because that was something I was really looking forward to. Uh, but they did not have it. So we basically had to wait around again for another, um, two hours. We didn't really have anything to do. I um, did do one thing. I did the Oracle reading. The, you mean the Oracle machine? Yeah. Okay. Yeah. The, so this, the Oracle machine. Why don't you explain about that? Because you per participated in that. The Oracle machine was two boxes with a cardboard tube in between them. It was decorated too. So it was, it was, it was I'll, I'll put a picture up. Here's a picture. <laughs> okay. And um, I was sitting in one side and this other girl who was listening to everyone's stories was either giving advice or listening, listening to, to her secret. secret. And I decided to tell her a secret. And uh, mostly because everyone who was coming out of the box, like coming out of it, mm -hmm. was like crying. Apparently they were talking about some really heavy shit in there. Like, yeah. I guess divulging like really crazy secrets. Yeah. And I, I was, was just like, like well, this is, I guess cheaper than therapy, but. <laughs> yeah. So I was just like, this, this girl needs cheering poor up. Poor girl who works in the museum who was like, I'll do it. Mm -hmm. Like, this sounds like fun. Yeah. It was just some volunteer. Yeah. Uh, so I straight up, I was just, I told her a funny story. Yeah. And, um. She really appreciated that. If, if you're friends with me, you probably know, like, a personal friend with me, you probably know the story. We're but not going to get into it. We're not going to get into it. Anyway, it's just a funny story. And she really appreciated that. Yeah, story. she laughed. She, she laughed like, for a while. I needed the lightheartedness of I, it. I actually got kicked out because I took too long. <laughs> she was like, well, it's been a lot of time, so you need to go. Yeah. It's because the other lady next to her, I was like watching the whole thing from outside, mm -hmm. and the lady was like timing you on her phone, and yeah. she like tapped her and was like, "It's time to go" or whatever. Yeah, yeah. So it was really funny though. Um, that was actually one of the, that was the more amusing parts of that. There was also this other weird thing. Uh, was this the same part in time? Yeah, it was the same. Uh, you so talking about the typewriter? Yeah, I don't really know. There was these two white guys not what? wearing shoes <laughs> with two typewriters with the same piece of paper, well, like a really long piece weaving of paper. in between the two typewriters. So they were recycling the same paper, and they were just typing at each other. 
And I thought anybody could get up here and start typing. I thought it was... Well, in the beginning there was. They just had people up there typing. Okay. Well, when I got there, I was like, hey, it's my turn. And they're like, oh, okay. And they let me write like a sentence. And then they're like, oh, it's my turn again. I think they were probably just letting people mess around with it before they actually got started. Mm -hmm. But once it got started, like, it was just them. But I don't know what it was. I guess it was just some sort of like... I don't know, it's like one of those artistic things that you're like, I don't get it. <laughs> yeah. Well, there was a couple of those that night. I actually took some pictures of these people dancing on the stairway, blocking a bunch of people from, like, walking around. <laughs> yeah, those so people at the were, beginning like, of the night, convenient. Yeah, uh, at the beginning of the night, there was just people dressed all in white, just dancing in places. Mm -hmm. Dancing in Which light. is pretty cool, but then they'd get in your way, and you're like, oh, come on. <laughs> and I loved it. I thought it was hilarious. <laughs> they saw me starting to take pictures of them, right? And they just started heading in my direction. And by the time I stopped uh, stopped taking pictures, I had like two people laying beside <laughs> my feet while eight other people were just like hovering over them, waving their hands in weird ways. Mm -hmm. And I was just like, this is weird. Time to stop. <laughs> and uh, I got a little uncomfortable, but in like a good way. Okay. So you know how you're like... You put yourself in a dumb situation just to kind of feel like a little rush of adrenaline or whatever? No. All right. Well, I do that sometimes. <laughs> I'll, like, put myself in an awkward situation. No, I hate it. I hated all of it. Um, and... <laughs> That's what, it, like, when we, we saw the Oracle machine on the, like, little pamphlet, we're like, let's go see what that is. And then I saw it was, like, you talk to a person. I was like, I don't want to do that. Yeah, no. <laughs> I, I was like, I don't want to talk to nobody. <laughs> That's uh, weird. And that's why I, I kind of ran into it's it. It's like was just small like, talk with a stranger, great, and it's just us in this very intimate situation where we have a box and a tube between us. So the worst part was is the girl weird. on the other side of that just was hard to hear. super quiet. And not not it was both because it was hard to hear her because it's just a, a, a tube in the front of your face mm -hmm. that you're getting all the noise from. Yeah. But also because, like, she was kind of a meek person, you know? She was quiet. Right? Yeah, she was not very meek. quiet. Well, both. <laughs> so you don't know if she was a meek or not? Uh, you know you can kind of tell when <laughs> someone's voice is a certain well, way. Well, meek is not really a compliment. Well. It's kind of a bad thing. <laughs> okay, well, she, is, she seemed very introverted is what I mean. Okay. Well, that's what I was like. You mean something else? <laughs> okay. Because she just kind of, she seemed like the kind of person that kept to herself. Mm-hmm. Anywho. It was an interesting, it was an interesting night. And then the last thing that we went to. Oh, yeah. That was like, uh, at the time of the night where you're about to crash, it was from what, six to eight? Uh-huh, yeah. It was like meditation, yoga, and they had like people playing sitars. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Which made me want to go to sleep. So during all this, though... <laughs> Uh, around the end part of the night, we had free donuts and free energy drinks. Mm -hmm. And that was ki kind of keeping us going, kind of. But we were we were struggling. So. Yeah. Oh, It was a big struggle. Brittany's getting a new outfit. Yeah, so Brittany, I thought today Brittany, I would get a new outfit. Brittany, you Shut know up, what to Brian. do. You know <laughs> what to do. <laughs> you better, Brittany. We do this every time. Every time. I'm going to mess it up. I'm going to mess it up if you don't do it. <laughs> I so see you, you trying to come with your hand. In my you got you to gotta come on. Get in here and get me. Hold on. I'm trying to get this up on my phone. I, I see want it. the outfit to be kind of a surprise. I'll do it for the last one. Okay, Chill out. Okay, well. Gosh, like killing me. <laughs> killing me over here. Killing you, Smalls. All right, everybody look at Brian's dumb face. Hi, it's my dumb face. Hi, everybody. <sighs> You've already oh, seen my dumb face a couple of times, actually, because of the videos we've been including. Yep. Bye. Great. <laughs> Boop. <laughs> oh, yeah, I snap. got a little spring out for it. <clears throat> well, that was fun. Thanks, Brittany. Yeah, you're welcome. Even though I had to fight you for it. Yeah, it's fine. <laughs> <laughs> Yay! Hey, it matches your hair. Actually, I like your boots with it too. Yeah, like little the rain boots. boots. Yeah, they look cute still. Yeah, I'll probably leave those on. Let's see if they have any more accessories in here. I might. Might. Maybe a little straw hat or something. Uh huh. Okay. Or this turban. <laughs> mm. 
But yeah, while we were listening to the centaur, the energy drinks and the sugar rush from the donuts was fading fast. Yeah, we crashed. I think we were just really tired. And we're like, we were like sitting on a couch looking at a wall that had like all this. Uh, it was, it that, was like a kaleidoscope. Yeah, light thing going on on the uh-huh. wall. So we're just staring at it, Ooh. and one of the museum people just like comes, sits down with us. She's like, "I'm going to sit with y'all folks." And I was like, okay. And at that, that moment, I was like, even the people working here are tired. Well, she was like, how long have y'all been here? And we were like, since nine. And she was like, what? <laughs> like, she was like, totally like, what the hell is wrong with you, basically? Yeah. we like. She's like, I've been here since 3 a.m. Yeah. She's like, I'm tired. So I was like, great. So we immediately were like, let's go. <laughs> yeah. After that, we walked around. Oh, we looked at the people I mean, that like, were we, getting there. We left that area. <laughs> yeah. So we actually found the people that were getting their tarot cards read, uh-huh. and it wasn't that impressive. It wasn't like unimpressive or anything. Well, okay, so I don't know about the reading itself, but like the atmosphere of it was not what I was expecting. Yeah, it was just a table out in the hallway. Yeah, and I was kind of like, hmm, this is not very atmospheric for tarot card reading, but. Okay. And w- what me and Brittany wanted was the 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 experience. We didn't really yeah, give a shit. I it. actually have tarot cards here at home. Yeah, um, but I've never had anybody read my own tarot cards. And, and we know? just wanted that iconic experience of like the right mood setting. Mm-hmm. Maybe someone like put some incense on or some shit. Yeah. I don't know. Just like but, the whole. I mean, overall, it was a really fun night, and we actually went to celebrate our uh, ninth anniversary. Yes, uh, we're about a week early, but we thought we would just go ahead and check that out. Well, we had a cool thing happening. Yeah, a week we had early. a cool thing. Yeah, so we we're like, let's do this for fun. I will say, I was really, I did really enjoy the comedy, and the silent raid it was, was a purple. whole lot of fun. Of yeah, that was really fun. And there was also some really cool exhibits. Uh, so the reason that they were doing this is this was the first day that the exhibits were open to the public. Yeah, so I don't know if anybody watches us who lives here in Raleigh, North Carolina, or in North Carolina, you should probably go check out those uh, exhibits. The exhibits really are really awesome. cool. So I suggest it. And uh, yeah, we, uh, we did a few other things. We actually... Uh, we uh, took some Instagram photos in a couple places. Yep. <laughs> and, uh, yeah. Yeah, and you, was... you guys can follow us on Instagram, too. I'm just at Brittany Saturn on Instagram. What's your handle on Instagram? I, you, did you post I, any pictures? I'm, I don't post any. Oh, okay. I, I, I say Instagram, just, but... Just follow me on Instagram, I guess. Yeah. You'll see pictures of Brian on there, too. Yeah, I, uh, I don't use my Instagram. <laughs> uh, if you want to follow me anywhere, put me on Twitter. Twitter. At Brian Belcher underscore. <laughs> Someone took your name. So, Brittany, did you know that there is no exception to this day? Oh, really? None. Not one. Uh, Because today's national days uh, are national all is ours day. So, this is a great time to reflect on all the beauty of nature and the wonderful things in life. All the natural wonders of the world are there for all to enjoy. Become aware of all the beauty in your surroundings. All of these spectacular gifts we have been given are, and are shared by all. Hmm. So it's basically go outside and go enjoy something. Go go walk in a park you've never nice. been to. You know, go do something new. I feel like we celebrated that day pretty well. Though. We did, actually. Um, unfortunately, we didn't celebrate this other day. Uh, it was National Empanada Day. No. <laughs> That's awesome, though. <laughs> Empanadas are awesome. So they are, if you're unfamiliar with this uh, this food, they are a stuffed bread or pastry that is baked or fried. The name empanada comes from the Galician, Portuguese, and Spanish verb um, p- pandar, meaning to wrap or coat in bread. Empanadas are made by folding the dough or bread around a seasonal uh, seasoned stuffing. The filling is usually made from meat, cheese, vegetables, or fruits, but may also be made with other ingredients. Nice. Brittany, what's your favorite kind of empanada? Uh, I like dessert ones. <laughs> yeah, dessert ones are the best. They're pretty uh, good. I'm, I'm a big fan of apple empanadas. Yeah, they're awesome. Those are great. Um... But I've actually also had a uh, chicken empanada once. Mm -hmm. Yeah, the meat ones are good, too. And those are pretty tasty. Um, Brittany, we didn't celebrate this one, but this is a day that you would really like. Although, today, I think it was too cold to celebrate. Okay. Today is National Zoo Lovers Day. Aww. So, today would be a perfect day to visit a zoo and be one of the millions of people who visit them each year. 
enjoy seeing your favorite animals swinging from trees or splashing in the water and have a fun-filled day. So we actually used to go to the zoo pretty often, mm-hmm. at least once a summer. Uh, the And the zoo here in North Carolina is huge. Yeah, it's actually one of the biggest zoos in the country, um, which is surprising because... When you think of bigger zoos like San Diego Zoo and stuff, like I've never been there before, mm-hmm. but I would assume that that zoo is like, that's one you hear about all the time. So it's supposed to be like, so, I would think really big. So I've been to the three uh, most popular zoos in America. There's the one, in, there's the Smithsonian Zoo, which is pretty cool, but it's tiny. Like, you like Icy Feet? I love Icy Feet. Okay. And it's it's awesome. I had a lot of fun going there, but it's, it's a pretty cramped space. Mm-hmm. The San Diego Zoo is large, but it's still kind of cramped for the animals. Mm-hmm. They there's a large like larger space for the animals, mm-hmm. but they have a lot of animals. Yeah. Just a lot. Yeah. And it's still in the city, so it's not that big. Okay. But the North Carolina Zoo well, is huge. Yeah, the North Carolina Zoo is the zoo that I always went to as a kid. So, when people talked about zoos, I imagined this. Yeah. Uh, the North Carolina Zoo is about 500 acres. Um, and it does have quite a bit of animals, but it has a lot of room for all the animals. So, whenever I would go, I was like, oh, this is what a zoo supposed to be like. So, I never really understood when people complained about zoos, about, you know, like, animals don't have a lot of space. It's, like, not super great. I didn't understand that. I was like, what? Okay. I mean, yeah, they're not out in the wild, but, you know, the animals that I saw always had plenty of space. Yeah, yeah, yeah. But then I did go to other zoos, and I was like, oh, I see. Yeah. This is what people are talking about. So so we're lucky in that sense that the animals here have plenty of room. Was the DC Zoo the other one that you really compare it with? Yeah. So the DC Zoo is like the stark opposite of... Of, like, the zoo that uh, we have in North Carolina. Mm-hmm. Because it's so small. Yeah, that one's really small. I mean, it's cool, but there are, were some animals that I was kind of like, this is their... I mean, I'm assuming that those animals have other pl- spots to, like, go mm-hmm. to. They probably have some areas that visitors can't see if they want to be alone, I'm assuming. I think the one... I so. <laughs> Because they didn't have a lot of room at yeah. all. If that's like the whole enclosure that they like for real lived in, I was yeah. like, oh. yeah, the elephants were the ones that I was worried about the most. Yeah, the elephants didn't have much space at all. The elephants where we live, we we hardly ever see the elephants where we live because yeah, there's there's so much space that it's just like maybe they're near. There's the, like what five hundred acres or something like that. Well, the whole zoo, though? like the entire okay. zoo, is five hundred acres. Okay, but. Yeah, they have a lot of space. And just like the rhinos and antelopes, Mm -hmm. uh, they're all together in like a huge field. Yeah. In fact, the area where people can view, there's like binoculars to be like, yeah, you're probably going to need binoculars to see these guys because they're going to be so far away. I like that the zebras, the ostriches, and the giraffes Giraffes are are also all together. Yeah, so they have a lot of fields, just big pastures. And they just put animals that, you know, coexist, that don't eat each other together, uh, which is pretty cool because then you can see them, like, hanging out together. And our zoo is also split up in two different sides. There's an African side and a North American side. Mm-hmm. And so the North American side has, like, the swamp area with, like, alligators and, like, panthers and stuff in it. Mm-hmm. And then we also have uh, the polar bears and penguins and walruses and whatnot. I don't think they have penguins there. I don't have penguins. Okay, well, what's some of the other ones they have there, though? They have seals. Okay, seals. That's... Okay, yeah. I feel like there's a little... There's a penguin part on top there. There's puffins. That's what I'm They're thinking of. penguins, though. Okay, yeah, that's what I'm thinking of. Because penguins live in Antarctica. And, um... But, yeah, there's a there's a bunch of little cool things. And, of course, bison. Bison. Yeah, they have a giant bison. area yeah. for bison. I don't ever see the bison. <laughs> they're always like, yeah, they're usually not super near far away. <laughs> where he, there's so much walking at that zoo too. You're like best be there all day, and you're gonna be hiking. So, so for me, the ones that I don't ever get to see, we saw them one time, are the bears. Yeah, the yeah, bears, the bears are always I don't really hiding. See them. Uh, I don't see the wolves very often either. Mm-hmm. They're mostly sleeping in the very back of their pen. Well, that's also because we generally start on the African side. Yeah, so if you go there super early in the morning, all the African animals are up mm-hmm. and walking around. So yeah, We had a see. really cool moment. We came first thing in the morning, and we went right to the lions. Mm-hmm. And they have, like, this pride rock look in the area. Yeah. 
and uh, a ton of rocks for them to climb on. Yeah, and one, uh, the one giant male lion was just like sitting on the top of the rocks, looking off of he it. Was sunning. Yeah, he was just sunning, and he had that like cat look on his face of like satisfaction. You yeah, know? yeah, yeah. He's had like that little cat smile. Yeah, yeah. So and he was, like, happy. And it was awesome. Yeah, and we were the only ones there too because we were there so early in the morning. It was like right at nine o'clock when they opened, so there was like nobody around. Well, guys, last thing, if it's your birthday today, happy birthday to you. Happy birthday. Um, you, We actually had some trouble looking for <laughs> some uh, like contemporary famous people to be born today, but we did find one movie star, one of my favorite movie stars. I just didn't know her by her name. Uh, we got Robin Wright, turns 52 years old today. She was born in 1966. The actress who became known for playing Forrest's true love, Jenny, in the 1994 classic Forrest Gump. Her acting in the film earned her a Golden Globe nomination, and she also stars as Claire Underwood in the Netflix series House of Cards. But I'll always remember her as Princess Buttercup in A Princess Bride. Nice. That being said, she's also Wonder Woman's mom. Oh, okay. She's, uh, yeah, like that. She just aged, so. Yeah, yeah. She probably didn't recognize her. Um, but yeah, I, I, uh, I, I've loved that actor for That's a long time. Girl. I just don't know her name. <laughs> the next ones are history ones. People in history. Everyone's Guess what, guys? Favorite. They're already dead. Don't worry about it. Oh. But we're going to celebrate their birthday anyways. Okay. Uh, this first one, I actually knew about because I uh, grew up in Florida. So I have been to a lot of places where this guy went to. And that's Juan Ponce de Leon. And uh, he was born in 1460. The Spanish explorer and conquistador who searched for the Fountain of Youth and the first European to, air quotes, discover Florida. <laughs> Okay. <laughs> um, <laughs> so, and then finally, we have probably the most important one here. Buddha. 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 <laughs> Fucking Buddha was born today, or at least that is what we sell, uh, mo is often celebrated I today. I appreciate they do the exact day yeah. that Buddha was born, but like tell everyone the year that he was born. Uh -huh. It is the year 563. <laughs> Man, everybody wants their shit changed today. Um, so Bengals, I blaze it. <laughs> <laughs> it's a new season, Brittany. What should Bengals say? Um, uh, it's a catchphrase. Mountain Dew, but M T N. Mountain Dew. Yeah, Mountain Dew. M T. No, no, all capitals. M T N. It's not iPhone. M T N. Uh huh, and then uh, just all, all lowercase do, and then four twenty. That's terrible. There you go. Mountain Dew 420? Yes. No scope. I can't. I know you can't put no scope in there, but you got that. That's good. <laughs> that is awful. It is. <laughs> it really is. <laughs> Perfect. Everyone's going to say this now. <laughs> yeah, it, looks like some shitty, Mountain Dew it looks like some shitty username on Twitch. <laughs> I hate it. I'm going to go tell Isabel that somebody's got a dirty mouth and I want them to stop saying what they're saying. All right. Uh, but yeah, the, today we're also celebrating the birthday of the founder of Buddhism and commonly celebrated, which is commonly celebrated on this day. And then, of course, we know it's Mail's birthday, Maylee's. Maylee. Uh, she's a duck, if you couldn't we'll go, tell. I guess we'll go see Maylee. And uh, she likes modern furniture and white things. I guess we'll end with going to Maylee's birthday party. All right, well, let's go to Maylee's birthday party. Let's go. I'm going to go dump these flowers on the beach real quick. All right. Dump them off. Dump all the flowers. And uh, I got some socks in my pocket that I was wearing. Yeah, just she get that to her. She can have those used right. socks as her birthday present. Used socks. What did you say she liked? Oh, I don't know. White things. Really? Yeah, she likes white things. Those are our now. Give her, the, give her one of those flowers. I can't give her flowers. Oh, that's a shame. Yeah. I can put the flowers in my house and they become potted, but for some reason you can't give... Villagers' flowers. Huh. Well, that is strange. That is strange. Okay. To the birthday party! To the birthday party of the person I don't care about. Yeah, that's Whatever. Fine. That's fine. Maybe she'll move. Because I get yeah. her socks for her birthday. 
used socks. <laughs> Man, so as I've gotten older, I've appreciated socks for my oh, birthday yeah, a lot socks. more. Dude, I asked for socks this past Christmas and nobody got me socks and I was super sad. <laughs> my mom did not believe that. That I wanted socks? Yeah. Hey, look. I've been asking for socks for two years. I know. She gets you socks all the time. She does. Can you get me socks? <laughs> Guess not. Of course, I said no gifts, but if you should brought one anyway, don't tell me you brought one too. We oh. sure did. Oh. I should be like, oh, sorry. <laughs> Here's some socks that I've been wearing. Here's some Argyle tights. She's gonna be like, oh. Well, this is certainly a creative gift. I knew I could count on you to keep things interesting, quackers. Well, that's great. Oh, you guys are the best. Big thanks to you and Fuchsia for everything. Well, I'm glad I came. Oh, well, great. Hey, Fuchsia. All right, talk to be You're here. Now I'm ready. Now I'm really fired up. I'm fired cha, up. Cha, 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 cha. Cha, cha, cha. <laughs> <laughs> we just start doing shots at Mailey's birthday party. Just like oh, my God. I wish you could do shots. Just like break her CD player and yeah. pop her balloon. Because <sighs> Fuchsia and I are just drunk dancing on the table. My favorite thing is there's one fucking balloon. Just yeah, one balloon. <laughs> All right, well, I'm gonna sit on this couch because this is a fucking yeah. raven ass this, party. This look at this party is going nuts. Yeah, just they're over there singing the Sailor Moon theme. Let's see if I have a. <laughs> <laughs> I don't have anything. This is me at a party though, for real. I'm like, oh god. Oh god. Oh god. I have to talk to people. I'm too anxious. Do you have a dog I can pet? <laughs> Do you have a dog or a cat I can distract myself with? Because oh, I hate parties. <laughs> <laughs> Alrighty, guys. Well, that's pretty much it for today. I yep. hope everyone had a fantastic Sunday. And we're going to bed. And we'll see you tomorrow for Sunday. Today is Sunday, Brittany. I mean Monday. <laughs> I, mean, I was thinking like Monday blues. I don't know why I said Sunday. <laughs> oh, get the Monday blues. Bye, everybody. Bye, everybody.